This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to execute an SSIS package using a stored procedure. This is the package that I'm going to use in this demo, and it's not really important, but what it does is it loads a CSV file containing vacant land information into a table. And there is going to be one record that has an error with the date, so that'll be redirected to a different table. So now we'll go over to Management Studio. And here you can see my SQL Server agent is disabled. If yours is enabled, then you can skip this step. But anyway, so I right mouse clicked on it and I select start. And this is popping up on my other monitor. Um, so I answer this question about, are you sure you want to start the SQL agent, blah, blah, blah. I say yes. And then another pop up is on my other monitor. So it uh, is now enabled. And so for our next step, we're going to go to jobs here. I'm going to right mouse click on jobs and say new job. And I'll give it a name. So it'll be start SSIS package to load data. And then I'll go to the steps uh, screen here. And then I go down here to the bottom and I click on new. And I can give the step a name. I'll just call it step one. And then we have to select the type. And in my case, in this case, it's going to be SQL Server Integration Services Package. And then we need to tell it where to look for that package. If you have it in your SSIS catalog, you would want to leave it set to the default. I'm going to use File System. And then down here, I need to get the full path to the package. So I'm going to go back to Visual Studio. And I right mouse click up here on the name of the package. And then I select Copy Full Path. And then I'll go back over here. And I'll paste that here for the package. And then I click OK and OK another time. Now I'm going to create the query, which will execute the job we just set up. Stay tuned to see how I set up the stored procedure query and execute it. So I'll start with use msdb, and then I type go, and then execute sp underscore start. And I'll just choose start job here by double clicking on it. And then I just want to provide the name. And I can expand the jobs, and then I can just drag the correct job out here. And need to put a single quote at the end. And I can remove the square brackets. They're not needed. And then I will say go again. And now we'll execute those commands. There you can see it says it started the package successfully and it completed. So we'll go over here and uh, see if we got some records in our tables. And sure enough, we have a bunch of records that were loaded into the vacant land table. And then we have one record or row in our error rows table. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that. 